Are you wondering what to do with your leftover bits of designer series paper? Well, I have the perfect solution for that question. Today I'm going to show you a super easy technique that uses up leftover bits of designer series paper and packs a wow factor. I would love to show you how. Hey everyone, if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, Hi, I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I love showing you techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Be sure to watch all the way through my video for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, I would love for you to choose me. I'll link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, let's get going on this fun technique. For my project today, I'm using the Rings of Love paper, which includes images of cottages, mushrooms, acorns, birds, tree rings, and flowers. Perfect for card fronts for your cards. Here's what the other side looks like. You can cut out the individual images to use as accents and these basic patterns will help you create charming paper crafts all year long. You know what the best part about this paper is? It's free with a $50 order or 60 euros if you live in Europe, but only until the end of August. So you only have a couple more days to place an order at my online store and get this pack of paper for free. It's 12 by 12 sheets of paper, but as you can see, I've used some of them already and I have some scrap bits that I'm going to use on today's project. And what I realized today when designing this project is that the images in the designer series paper coordinates perfectly with the Happy Hedgehog stamp set. And I'm going to show you how to use this stamp set on today's project. Happy Hedgehogs has adorable hedgehogs, flowers, butterflies, forest mushrooms, and birds. It's so easy to use. You stamp the line art images on a card front, which is what we're gonna do today, add the sentiment that expresses your feelings, and send away. So let me show you how we're gonna use the paper and the stamp set for this super easy and really cool technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a layer for my card, and it's this layer that we're going to use for the technique. But first, I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of grid paper. I am going to use that forest mushroom in the Happy Hedgehog stamp set, and I'm going to ink it with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm going to stamp it down in the bottom corner of this layer. And now what I'm going to do is bring in my Stampin' Blends and one of my markers and I'm going to color the image. So I'm going to start off by using Soft Succulent. I have the Stampin' Right marker and what I want to do is just color the grass portion of this image like so. And then I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blend and I'm going to add just a dot of color. I'm going to use the other end. There's a, a thick end and then a brush end and in this case I think the thick end is better for this. Okay, like so. And now I'm going to use my Poppy Parade Stampin' Blend and I'm going to color the mushroom. And then the last thing I'm going to do is use some light crumb cake Stampin' Blend and color the base of the mushroom, just like that. Great, now let's create this technique. Now what I want to do is turn this layer and I am going to tear 
in like so. And I'm going to do it, I'm gonna pull it towards me so that I have this rough edge that appears. And then I'm going to sort of do the same. I'm gonna try and eyeball it. And I want to pull this center piece towards me the same length, like so. And you'll see that I end up with the rough edge here as well. Okay, and now I'm going to bring in my paper snips because what I want to do is I want to roll this piece, but I don't need all of this paper. So I'm going to just cut off a length and discard that. And then I learned this technique from another demonstrator and I thought how she did this rolling was so clever. You take a cotton swab and pull off one of the, the cotton ends and use it to help you roll up this piece. So you can see now why I stamped and colored the mushroom at the beginning is so that I would know how far in I wanted to tear my layer. Okay, so I'm just gonna tightly roll this, like so, and then, almost there, and then I'm just gonna pull out the cotton swab. And there we go. Isn't that super cool? Now, obviously I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive, although this is very tightly rolled and I can't imagine that it would uncurl. But just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna add some multi-purpose liquid glue, roll this back up, and then let it dry for a second. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next. I think it is ready for the next step, which is to add my phrase. So I've decided to use soft suede and I've chosen one of the sentiments out of the Happy Hedgehog stamp set. I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it down like so. It says, it's so nice of you to be so nice. The next step is to add this to our card base, but we're going to create a layered card base first. If you want to see another card making technique, why not watch this video next? My card base is basic white and it's going to be a landscape layout. And to that, I am going to add a layer of Poppy Parade and a layer of the Rings of Love designer series paper. So I chose the design that had the mushrooms on it because I've got the mushroom on the other layer that you've seen me create already. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal and I'm going to add this designer series paper and then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to add it to the card front. Now, I want to point out right away that you don't have to have a full layer of designer series paper because what you're going to do is attach this layer that we've created with the technique on top so you can see that you don't really need a full layer of designer series paper. You could literally just have a strip and by having the poppy parade or a dark cardstock color underneath, you won't see the length or the width of the designer series paper. So what I'm gonna do is turn this over and I'm going to add some multi-liquid purpose glue, which is right here. And then I'm going to attach this to my card front. I'm using multi-purpose liquid glue so that I can reposition this layer should that become necessary. If you use a different kind of adhesive, 
when you lay it down, it could be stuck fast and there's no room to slide. Okay, there we go. The technique is coming along really cool, isn't it? All right, now let's talk embellishments. When I was considering what embellishments I wanted to use on the front of this card, my eye was drawn back to the Happy Hedgehog stamp set and I saw this butterfly and I thought that would be really cool to stamp, color, and cut out. So that's what I did while I had the video off. And what I want to do is add a mini Stampin' Dimensional to the back of the butterfly and I'm going to add it up here to sort of fill in some of the white space on the front of this card. And then, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I am determined to use up all of the embellishments that I have lying around that are no longer available for you to order, but I am trying to model responsible purchase practices, so I'm going to add some of these little gems. These were in color gems that were available in the last catalog. And let's see, I think, I don't know where I wanna add this last one. Maybe. I kind of feel like it should go right there. And there we go. This technique, super easy technique, is done and is a perfect way to use up your leftover bits of designer series paper. Would you like to learn more card making techniques? If you would, leave me a comment underneath this video and simply say yes, and we'll both know what that means. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers, head on over to my blog to find out all these details. I'll link in the description box under this video over to my blog article so that you can see everything that I used and the ordering numbers in case you would like to earn this designer series paper pack for free. But remember, you only have until the 31st of August to do so. After that date, this designer series paper will no longer be available. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. I'll see you over at the next video. Bye for now.